With the Shanghai Masters over for another year, Yannick Sinner got the win over Novak Djokovic, denying him of his 100th title in his career. But well, let's go have a look at what both players had to say in the press conference after the match regarding this match. So starting with Djokovic, he was asked in the press conference about how close he was to winning his 100th title and how significant that is in his career. And he says, well, I mean, that's a bonus, you know, if that can happen. I mean, I definitely wish it to happen today, but it wasn't meant to be. I got to keep striving to make it happen somewhere in the near future, hopefully. And yeah, I mean, it's not live or die type of goal for me. I think I've achieved all the, my biggest goals in my career. Right now, it's really about slams and about, you know, still seeing how far I can push the bar for myself. Yeah, as long as I perform the way I performed actually this week, and I think I can go toe to toe with the big guys, as long as that's the case, I guess I'll still feel the need to keep on competing and motivation to be out there. And let's see how long that's going to last for. So Yannick Sinner was asked in the press conference about how good he is this year compared to last year after winning another title, his seventh title this year. Let's go have a look at what he said. He said, yeah, well, you know, I changed some things. I feel like that physically I'm ready to play for a longer amount of time at the highest level possible. Also mentally, I'm ready to accept every tough situation on court and which I think that's the biggest step I made forward. And you know, just trying to stay as calm as possible and even to keep working hard. You know, it doesn't really matter if you have a good week or a bad week, just trying to improve daily. Whenever you have a chance to, trying out new things, trying to see new things. In worst case, you see what's working and what's not working. And you know, trying to be mature enough to understand what's working. And I feel like that for me made a big impact this year. And hopefully it's going to help me also for the next year. So you have it, both players talking in the press conference about the finals and also about what they've achieved so far in their careers and also what the motivations for Djokovic are going forward and also Sinner, how he's gotten so good over the last 12 months. What a good final it was, though. Djokovic didn't play bad. It's just that Sinner was a little bit more clutch in the moments. He didn't face a break point in the entire match. Djokovic only got broken the one time, and that was the difference. So I don't think Djokovic is that far away from Yannick Sinner. It's just that Sinner has beaten him the last three times in a row and just can't. Djokovic just can't break his serve when they've played over the last couple of meetings. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Hopefully, we get to see them at the ATP Finals. Djokovic is now well and truly in contention for qualifying. We already know that Sinner's going to be there. So hopefully, we get another match before the end of the year between these two guys and see if Djokovic can close the gap a little bit more with Sinner this year. But man, Yannick Sinner, so impressive. That's what both players had to say in the press conference after the final.